Hello, this is Yeshua said my name. Before I get into the main topic of this uh, uh, discussion here on these radio bursts that astronomers heard called FRBs or fast radio bursts, I want to backtrack to what exactly was the wow signal that was picked up in the 1970s. Actually, it was the first signal that astronomers and scientists had picked up that seemed to have intelligence behind it. In other words, it wasn't a random radio signal from a quasar or a pulsar or any other kind of object like a comet or something like that. This was actually a signal that scientists labeled the wow signal back in the 1970s. And in this live science article, uh, it, it says here, a comet likely didn't cause bizarre wow signal, but aliens might have. Now, before I get on to this um, uh, Fox News video here. Uh, I want to tell you that on this channel, for those of you who may be new subscribers or new to the subject, I've made a few videos within the last six months showing you what I believe scripture and God's word tells us about this phenomenon we are seeing compared to what the secular world will tell you we are seeing. Uh, Genesis 6, the book of Enoch, the book of Jude, uh, also uh, in uh, Ezekiel, uh, the prophet uh, Elijah, all of this has dealt with what is termed as the fallen angels or the powers and principalities of the air. Satan is called the prince of the power of the air. Uh, I believe what we are seeing with these so-called chariots of fire, these UFO sightings and things we can't explain, I believe that what the world is telling you is that these are aliens coming from other star systems and making themselves known here. That they are trying to escort man into an age of prosperity and harmony and the golden age. Whereas I believe that scripture tells us exactly what these are, what this phenomena is. And I believe that when the angels came to man uh, and the demonic entities came to man back in Genesis, in the book of Enoch, they came as gods wanting to be worshipped, just like Satan said in the book of Isaiah, I will be as the most high. He wanted to be worshipped as the most high. Today, what we are seeing in this so-called alien phenomena, I believe are nothing else, nothing other than the angelic spiritual forces of wickedness and heavenly realms. So getting back to this, this wow signal, if you want to look into this more, you can um, type into the into Google wow signal and look it up for yourself. Um, but I want to get into uh, this Fox News video. And a, another signal was detected by scientists a few days ago. And it, it's another FRB or fast radio burst. And they are saying on this in this video here from Fox News that they believe it comes from an alien source. Now, backtracking a few videos ago, I did another video on a Fox News interview being given uh, from a former military pilot that states that he believes what he witnessed in this Fox News interview was a craft that was not from this world. And he actually said that on a Fox News interview. So if you want to backtrack a couple of weeks ago, I made a video on this again on Fox News, someone saying a credible source, we do not believe this technology comes from our world. Uh, these craft that are being cited are doing things that defy the laws of physics. Man's bodies could not hold up under the strain of the turns that are made, the stop on a dime movements, the acceleration up from our atmosphere into space. They are they appear and disappear randomly. They're cloaked. Uh, we don't have technology to do this. And again, I believe this phenomenon is very real. However, I do not believe it is what the world tells us we are witnessing. Scripture tells us we are witnessing powers in the heavenly realms in these last days. And I believe they will become more and more visible. And I believe this agenda will be used as part of a great delusion to draw man away from the truth of God's word and onto what the world will tell you. So when these beings present themselves possibly one day out in the open, it'll make people fall away from the faith and say, well, you know, maybe God isn't real. Maybe the scriptures aren't real. Maybe we have to question the gospel message and the origins of man when all of this stuff takes place. So let's listen to this interview. And in this interview uh, that Tucker Carlson has with this gentleman, this gentleman actually states he believes it's of an alien origin. Again, on this channel, I will tell you, I believe this phenomenon is real. However, I do not believe that it is what the secular world will tell you is going on. I believe when we study the scriptures, uh, in the book of Enoch, Genesis, um, uh, uh, Jude quoted about this, uh, quoted the book of Enoch, actually, in the book of Jude. I believe that the prophet Elijah uh, was taken up by a chariot of fire. I, I believe that Ezekiel 
uh, explicitly talks about seeing these craft in, in the book of Ezekiel. So I believe what we are seeing is entirely different according to scripture than what the secular non-believing world will tell you this is all about. So let's listen. Over the years, we've kept you pretty consistently informed of any weird activity in the skies above us. Most shows don't do that. They're too embarrassed, but we're not. Why would we be? If alien life exists, it's far more likely we'll hear from it before we see it. Now a telescope in Canada reports picking up a strange, powerful signal from far, far away. What <laughs> is it exactly? Greg Larson has been looking into it for us. He's morning anchor for Fox News Headlines 24-7 on Sirius XM. And he joins us tonight with more. Hey, Brett. Hey, Tucker. Yeah, this is definitely one of those what kind of stories. Uh, this is something called a fast radio burst. It was detected multiple times, and it has many scientists saying we need more data. So a couple things can be a fast radio burst. It could be a neutron star with a strong magnetic field, two neutron stars colliding, a black hole perhaps, and yes, could actually be an alien. The latest discovery comes almost by chance from something called CHIME. It's the Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment. And get this, the system wasn't even completely set up when they discovered the bursts. Now, the fast radio bursts found are from a galaxy very, very far away, one and a half billion light years to be exact. <clears throat> and it is just the second time that a repeat of a fast radio burst has been detected. And the object CHIME found produced actually six different bursts ARS Technica reports that of the dozens of fast radio bursts identified, only one other has produced multiple bursts, and this is actually kind of significant. More and more scientists are looking into the skies with more precise instruments to find these signals, and they don't last for very long. This isn't something you're going to hear. It's like a fraction of a second, and it shows up on a graph. Now, some astronomers have considered the idea that these bursts could be from intelligent life elsewhere, and with more scientists searching for them, we will likely find out more about them and find more of them. I, I think it's alien. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I think, I think it's alien, and I think it's fascinating that we, we you point a radio receiver to the sky, and we pick up radio signals. Now, granted, there are scientific explanations for it, but so, so, but. so to flip it around, I just want to be sure I, I yes. understand this. I mean, there's nothing about it that I really understand, but. There's no hard consensus that this is a naturally occurring phenomenon. So it's, there are serious scientists who believe this could be an intentional uh, yes. act, the yeah. sending of these radio signals. So there's, it could be, it could be from the collapse of a planet. It could be signals that come out of a black hole. And if, if it is signals that come out of a black hole, that's awesome too, because we can then learn more about them. It could be a neutron star. It could be two of them colliding. And again, that's also a very cool thing that we, we caught it. We can now hear the, the signature that it makes when it when these things happen in the skies above us and the galaxies literally beyond the Milky Way. If it's alien and it's it's you know get Jodie Foster, we got to build the spaceship and send her. All right, let's stop right there for a moment. So this gentleman here that was being interviewed is stating that he believes it's of an alien nature. He believes it's from an intelligent source. Again, scripture tells us what we're dealing with. We are dealing with spiritual forces in the heavenly realms, uh, according to uh, the writings of the New Testament. Uh, Genesis 6 tells us that the fallen angels left their proper habitation and uh, came to earth and were causing trouble here, actually wanted to be worshipped as gods. And the book of Jude actually quotes from the book of Enoch. There are many sources in scripture telling you, and even in the prophet Jeremiah, God told the prophet Jeremiah, do not be in awe or be afraid of the signs you see in the heavens. I believe this was Jeremiah chapter two. Scripture will tell you what this is. They are angelic forces, the powers and principalities in the air, which Satan is said in scripture to be the prince of. So this signal, this FRB, this fast radio burst just came in a couple of days ago. And if you notice, Fox News is being more and more welcoming with the idea of this soft disclosure, quote unquote, and telling people this is an alien in origin, or this craft is not from this world. Now this signal is, it's alien in origin. It used to be that a show like this would never ever even hint at something like that without being thought to be crazy. So getting back to the original wow signal that I was telling you about from the 1970s, this was the first of such signals that was detected. 
And the astronomer that picked up on the signal actually titled it, wow, you know, he wrote, wow. Uh, so this, this next uh, signal that was just detected from deep space or from uh, an intergalactic source, as you heard, Fox News is saying it's coming from an intelligent source. Now, I'm not saying that one way or another. All I'm saying is, are we being conditioned? Are we being prepped by this beast New World Order system to accept an alien phenomena and denounce the gospel of Christ, to denounce Christ being God, to feed people these doctrines of devils, stating that, you know, aliens are here to help humanity in a, into a golden age, to ascend into divinity, uh, you know, that we, we put you here, we're your creators, and we'll cause many to fall away from the gospel, cause many to fall away from the scriptures that tell us God is the one who created everything and put us here. I don't know. It's speculation, but it's food for thought. Thank you for listening and more to come soon.